Hi guys and welcome back to the Notary Channel, your guide to all things notary. And today we are going to discuss the importance of notarization in New York State and how to identify signers ethically and accurately. So let's get it started. Notarization is an essential process that ensures the legality and authenticity of important documents. It is very important when verifying a signer's identity. Today, we're going to talk about the significance of following the required identification practices for every notarial act. There are three practices that are used to identify signers. In the additional moments of meeting a client, I identify myself, ask them how their day is going, and then I ask to see their ID. I get straight to the point. A vital component of a mobile notary's job is verifying the signer's identity. There are three methods for identifying signers. Viewing identification cards, personally knowing the signer, and having a credible identifying witness. Each one has a different procedure, guideline, and challenge. Identification cards is the most common identifier. The best identification to use must have three components. A photograph, a physical description, eye color, hair color, height, and weight, and the signer signature. Reliable sources of identification include New York driver's license or non-driver's license, U.S. military ID, U.S. and foreign passports, permanent resident ID that has been issued by the United States Citizen and Immigration Services, and a permanent resident ID that has been issued by the United States Citizen and Immigration Services. Unacceptable forms of identification include birth certificates, social security cards, credit cards, driver's licenses without a photograph, and temporary driver's licenses. Once provided with the acceptable form of identification, the notary will expect it to ensure that it isn't fraudulent. Some things that should be looked for is if the photograph was raised a little bit, raised from the surface, erasures, discolorations, and smears. Basically, it cannot look like somebody cut out some pictures and glued it together and then put some little plastic on it to like laminate it or something. I don't know. It shouldn't be laminated at all, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Personal knowledge. This identifier is used when a notary personally knows the signer and is willing to vouch for their identity. New York State doesn't require that the notary know the signer for a certain amount of time. What is needed is that the notary spent enough time with the signer and can eliminate every reasonable doubt that the signer is who they say they are. Credible identifying witness. There may be time when a signer cannot provide an acceptable ID. In this case, a credible identifying witness can be used. When using this identifier, the party must know the signer and the notary and be willing to verify their identity and have no personal interest in the transaction that requires the notary. The notary will administer an oath for affirmation that may say, you swear that you know this signer is the person they claim to be, so help you God. Every notary is legally responsible for verifying the identity of their signers for all notarial acts. Notaries that fail to identify signers correctly risk civil, criminal, and administrative liability. And there you have it, those are the three ways to identify a signer in New York City. If you like this video or found it helpful, share it with everybody you know that's in New York who want to be a notary public. See you in our next video. Bye guys.